Hi, welcome back. Okay, so in the last video, we stopped at looking at um, optional parameters in route, and we used that using the get method for the route class. So in this video, we're going to take a look at all the other methods which are available on the route class, like post and put, etc. Okay, so here I am in a Chrome extension called Postman, and it allows you to hit your APIs um, with other methods. For example, get, you can only do um, in the browser, you can easily do get, but uh, if you want to do stuff like post and put, it's not that easy. That's why I use this um, tool called Postman. So it's free and it's available in the Chrome store. So um, go ahead and install that if you want to follow along with this video. Okay, so back in our routes.php file, if you remember from the last video, we use the get method. So in this video, let's just comment that out. And um, instead of using the get method, let's use the post method. So we're going to do route post. And um, let's just say for slash people. And pass in an anonymous function. And this time, instead of saying something like ID, we're going to pass in a class called request. And it leaves in the namespace illuminate. So we'll type that. I L L U M I N A T E slash H T T P slash request. Okay, so it's a we just store it in a variable called request. Okay. So what are we going to do in this video is that anytime that you send a post request to our application, we're going to dump out all the variables in the request. Okay. So I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. Just spell dump properly. So var dump request. Request has a, a few methods which uh, we'll go in detail as we are following along with the other tutorials in this series. But for now, just know that it has a method called all, and you don't need to pass in anything. So that means dump um, all the properties in the current request. Okay, so let's save that and then we go to Postman. So here in Postman, what we're going to do is we're going to say we want to do a post request. So change the method HTTP method from get to post and then just paste in the URL for our application here. In this case, it's Laravel 5.dev. But if you remember, in our application, we specify an extra URL that is people. So let's um, append people to the end here. Okay. So let's just send that request. As you can see, we did not pass in anything as a um, input to the post request so it's going to bring us an empty array so let's go to the body section here and add in items so let's say we want to send an id of 22 and let's say we want to send a body property of hello world so what do you expect will happen when we send this request let's just send it and as you can see it prints out an array which is produced by this vardom function here. So what we're saying is print out everything that I have sent you. So as you can see, we have vardom ID of 22 and we have vardom a body of hello world. So now that we can post things to our application, let's see what other options are available with routes. Okay. One such other option is the middleware option, which we, uh, we can use to intercept the messages that are coming to our application and deal with them appropriately. So I'll show you one, there are many middlewares, but I'll show you one which is commonly used, which is the off middleware. And it is used to restrict people who are not authenticated or logged in, if you want to say that, um, from accessing your website or posting things there. So it intercepts it and see if they are not logged in and they can't post things, okay? So back in our application, um, to use the auth middleware, you have to first put your route in a group and uh, we'll get to groups in a, in a moment. So as you can see, route group. And um, the first thing that you pass into the group um, function is an array, and you say middleware. And uh, which middleware do we want to use? And it's the auth middleware. And the second um, argument that we pass in here is an anonymous function. And inside there is where we define the routes that we want to be affected by um, everything in this route group here. So everything inside here will have the properties of this group. So let's say if we had defined a uh, route get here as well, it will also be affected by whatever we set as uh, options in this group here, okay? So let's just um, cancel that for now. 
Okay, so let's try to push things to our application now and see if um, it will allow us to or not. All right, so back in the browser here, I'll just uh, send post. Now you can see if we set preview, it will say not found HTTP ex uh, exception. So let me just remove the middleware here. Um, and see what happens. So apparently you can't leave the uh, first parameter empty. So let's just pass in an empty array there. Okay, so I'll say send. And obviously now as you can see, we can push things to our application after removing the auth middleware. Okay, last but not the least, we'll go through one more route option, which is the prefix options. And just like the middleware, it is also applicable to a group of routes. Okay, obviously these are not the uh, um, only route options available, but to get started, those are the ones that I feel like we need to know about. And as we're going through, we'll get introduced to more um, route options. Okay, so let's go back in our text editor and in the group option here in the first parameter, instead of passing middleware, we pass in prefix. So I'll show you in a moment what prefix does. So let's say prefix and the value is API. Okay, so basically what we're doing is um, we want to say instead of just accessing this route directly here as we're doing slash people, we want all routes inside this group here to be accessible using the API prefix. So we want to be able to do this and we want to apply to many routes. So we don't want to individually um, list them out like this. I'll just show you. So instead of doing this API forward slash and then making another route, um, API for slash people to um, we just want the API to be prefixed to all these routes so I'll just paste that here and change this people to people to and save so now when we come here and we add the API prefix to the people and then send it will behave as expected but also if we add it to people to and send it will also behave as expected okay just to show you that they are different I'll just say echo in people to here save and if I go to people one we shouldn't see the echo statement but if I go to people two we should be able to see the echo statement there so I send and you can see in people two and then uh, we get the var dump of the request that has been sent to that route okay so there you have it guys um these are some of the things you can do with Laravel routes and as I said before, there's lots of things you can do with routes, but for now, let's just stick with these options. And I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.